Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. Today is um, July the 15th. It's Wednesday. Can you believe it's Wednesday already? Oh my gosh, the days go by so quickly. Every time I turn around, it's Friday. I'm like, how is it another weekend? It's just the days are passing by so quickly. I feel like I get nothing done. I mean, I do, but I feel like I get nothing done. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. All kinds of things are going on in this world. It is crazy. I mean, it's just crazy. All kinds of things are going on. I tried to get my husband to come on with me, but um, he's just, you know, I don't know. He's just Johnny. <laughs> he's doing a little project right now. Uh, do you remember I told a story about how I think I told y'all my daughter's toilet uh, broke and the water was spraying out of the hose from the back and it sprayed us all in the face. It was terrible. Well, he's putting in a new toilet for her today. So that's he's busy. He's got he's working on a honeydew list. And I know he really loves doing that job. Y'all y'all know how that is, right? I just saw on Twitter just a few minutes ago that a bunch of um, accounts have been hacked. What is it? Obama's account, Biden, Gates, Bloomberg, uh, Bezos, Elon Musk, all these big guys' accounts have been hacked. And they said, if you go make a deposit at uh, Bitcom, a $1,000 deposit at this Bitcom address, then uh, we're going to send you $2,000 which makes no sense. Why would anybody do that? But anyway, Twitter evidently figured it out pretty quick and deleted all the tweets. And now Trump has just said, you guys, just a few minutes ago, I, I didn't see it on TV, but it came across my phone. It pops up, you know, I've been here doing readings and it popped up and it said, uh, this is, here's what Trump is focusing on now. MS-13 gang. What? Yeah, remember in 2016 when he would do his um, rallies and he would do these things, he talked about MS, uh, MS-13 gang. He talked about it a lot, you know. Well, now he's back on that again. That's, gonna, that's what he's going to go after. That's the big important thing in the middle of a pandemic that Trump goes after this gang and dismantles the, this gang. This is the most important thing that we have on our agenda right now. This man is crazy. Oh, did you see that uh, in the Rose Garden? He did a Trump rally from the Rose Garden. He just rambled on and on and on incoherently. I mean, he's a crazy man. He's getting worse and worse and worse. I'm going to take a look at him and uh, just do a few cards here and take a look at him. Oh, did y'all see um, Oklahoma governor has COVID? Yeah, he is one of the guys that um, was at the Trump rally. He was there. He didn't have a mask on. And, you know, he's he won't listen to the CDC or the recommendations and everything. He's just one of those Trumpers that gets all his advice from Donald Trump. And now, now he's got COVID. That's what happens when you don't listen, when you're not paying attention and following the, the rules. Now he's sick. God bless him. I hope, you know, he gets over it and he's okay and he doesn't infect his family. Why would you take a risk? Why? At least he could have wore a mask. Is he stupid? People, if you're in a bunch, a crowd of people, you better have a mask on. What's wrong with you? If you don't care about yourself, surely there's others that you care about. A mask is what protects others, right? Oh, my cards are falling all over the place. All right, so let's take a look at Trump here. Let's take a look at Trump. What's going on with Trump? He's acting crazy. He's saying crazy things. What's, what is this all about, you know, this MS-13 gang? What's this about? Let's take a look at it. Okay, well, here's Trump. This is my Trump card. So here's him showing up here. Trump's, look at this. He don't know what to do. He is at a point where he does not know what to do to, you know, save this re-election. He really doesn't have any ideas. That's, they're just throwing anything against the wall. You know what I mean? 
if anything sticks, let's get it. MS-13, was that going to stick? Is that going to, oh, that's what everybody's so worried about. MS-13, yeah. Yeah, everybody's worried about that. Oh, I also, I've seen that uh, they're saying that gun sales are up, you know, like crazy. People are buying guns like crazy. Why are people buying guns? Why? Why are they so, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll take a look at that. Why are people buying guns like crazy? Yeah. Let me tell you, this man ha doesn't have an idea what to do to save his election, to save his presidency. He really, really doesn't. The only thing he's trying to do right now is, you know, he's really not doing anything to get more supporters. He is just trying to maintain what he has. That's what the balance is about. He just is trying to make sure not more people leave. You know, he's trying to. Um, rally his base. Ba basically, that's what he's doing. It's just rallying his base. We're going to get the MS-13 gang, you know. Like, every, is that what you're afraid of when you go to bed at night? Is that so what you're thinking about? I probably haven't thought about that gang for four years since he mentioned it. Now, maybe they are around. Maybe they are doing bad things. That It's, you know, very possible, but I haven't thought about them. I haven't worried about them. I don't feel like they're impacting my life. But I do feel like COVID is impacting my life a whole lot. Okay, so that's what's going on here. He's just trying to um, maintain what he's got. He's not, you know, he's not getting any more votes. He's not bringing any more people in. And he just wants to maintain his base. That's all he's worried about is his base. He thinks that's enough. He really, really does. One last card for him. It's bye-bye. He'll be leaving. He's going... He's, he's going to go. He's leaving, you guys. I can't wait for him to be out of the White House. And I cannot imagine that he is going to open the doors and stand there, him and Melania, stand there and welcome Biden and his wife, you know, in the White House. Can you imagine him doing that? Is he going to do that? I, I should take a look at that. I would be really interested, really interested if he's planning to do that. I don't see it happening. I really don't. Okay. Another thing I wanted to look at was um, Susan Collins. It's not looking good for her. It really isn't. But let's take a look at it real quick. Is Susan Collins going to lose her seat? Is Susan Collins going to lose her seat? What can I tell everybody? You know, we were watching a program uh, last night. It was... It was one of those new shows that are coming on, you know, paranormal events that happen. I forgot the name of it. Y'all probably, some of y'all probably watched it. I think it was recorded, so it might have been recorded a couple of days ago. It was a one of the things was uh, raining frogs, you know, how it rained frogs all over the place, and there were just the scientists were trying to figure out how that happened, how it rained frogs, you know. And when my husband was sitting there, he was saying. He was saying, uh, water pond, water pond. And I'm like, water pond? What are you talking about? I mean, this man says crazy, funny things all the time because he can't find the right word because English is his second language, you know, and he can't find the right word. And my daughter looked at him and she said, you mean water spout? And he goes, yeah, yeah, it's a water spout. It's a water spout. Because he was like, a water pond that comes out of the water. The water pond that comes out of the water. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> he was talking about a water spout. Y'all, he says things every day that are kooky. Every day. We could write a book. If we, He's crazy. He's so funny. He's funny all the time. He's got a good little funny bone anyway. So he's always doing something silly. All right. Let's take a look at Susan Collins. Susan Collins. What's going on with her? Let's see. Well, she really is working hard to save her seat. You know, 
that's what this is all about. So she's in the past, she has worked with others and she's been successful of getting reelected, reelected. She's been reelected many times. So this is a past card, but, uh, and she, and she thinks that doing the same thing that she's done in the past, she'll have the same results, but I don't think so. I don't think so. The next card that we get is, the lover's card so there's big changes coming up for her um but you know don't worry about her because this means that there are some changes coming up in her career but she's going to be okay you guys and not that she will still be the senator but she'll go on and do other things you know it'll give her a chance to do some other things in her life you know um before you know she gets too old to do other things basically so there's big changes coming up that's what this is and the outcome for her is the nine of swords. So, you know, it, it's with grief and sadness that she'll leave the Senate. Uh, you know, she realizes she made a mistake following Trump and not speaking up and not, you know, um, voting against him when she could have. It, it hasn't helped her. So I feel like she'll be leaving. She'll be, but she, she'll leave with great sadness, but she's going to be okay. You know, she's going to do something else. She'll go on and do something else. It'll, she'll still have a lot of uh, good that she'll do. So uh, we may still see her in some capacity. Okay. Because she's going to be fine. She's really is going to be fine. That looks like she'll she'll team up with somebody and she'll um, get some good work done, but I yes yeah, she'll leave the Senate and she's she's very sad about it. But you know she's been there for a long time. It is of course it's going to be sad to lose your seat. But yeah, she's going to lose. All right. So what else can we take a look at? What about Florida? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I live in Texas and Texas is out of control in COVID too, and so is Florida. We're both Florida is probably a little bit worse than Texas. But we're getting there too. We are getting there. They they called for uh, those cooler trucks, you know, for bodies already in San Antonio because there there's so many people dying every day that they the morgues are full. Isn't that awful? It's not as bad as New York. I can't believe New York. It was so horrible for New York. I mean, I can't even wrap my mind around how many people died every day in New York. It's astounding. It is astounding. It really is. But they got it under control. I mean, well, sounds like all the old people in New York died. I know that's not true because I know people in New York. Right? I know people in New York. Renee. So let's take a look at Florida. Are they going to get control on this situation? That Florida's governor, he he cannot see the light of day. I guess he has to get COVID to really figure out, hey, I could die of this too and my family could too. It's like he has no empathy, no compassion for other people. And Disney's open. Who goes to Disney? Are y'all going to go to Disney? Who brings their kid to Disney when Florida is full of COVID? Who does that? I know somebody that went to Florida. I know somebody that went to Florida for their vacation and brought their grandchild. I do. I was like, what in the hell? Rolling the dice. I wouldn't do it. I would not do it. What for? I wouldn't do it. I want to take my grandkids camping, but I don't know. It's such a big responsibility to take. They're telling you to stay home. You take your grandkids out. You want to get them sick? When you feel horrible, if you got your grandbaby sick. We'll just wait. There's always more time. All right. Let's take a look at Florida. Are they going to get a handle on this? Is Florida going to get a handle on this COVID? Let's see what's going to happen. Is it going to get worse or are they going to get a handle on it? I think that governor ought to resign. They're trying to make that Dr. Fauci look like he's out to get Donald Trump and you can't believe him. He's worked with all the other presidents. Yeah. 
What's in it for him? What's in it for him? Okay. Look, this is what I get from this. This is, they had a chance to get control on the situation. They closed down Florida, but they didn't close it down long enough. So in the past, they had the best opportunity to control it. And that's when they should have done, but they opened really, really too soon. So this is the past. They had control. It was going good. And then they opened it all up and they went down another path. So they opened up Florida and they went down another path. And instead of controlling this virus, they let it spread. DeSantis, right? DeSantis, is that his name? That's the governor. It's his fault. Uh, seven of Swords. Yeah. So this is because of people that are listening to Trump. It's, it's Republicans. You know, instead of listening to people like Fauci, like the CDC, the recommendations that are given, you know, None of the states followed those CDC recommendations and um, followed the steps necessary for opening their states. Nobody, I mean, maybe a few did, but most of the states just went from, you know, A to Z. They just went pop open. And then they were supposed to be scaling back. Every time something happened, they were supposed to scale it back, scale it back. And they haven't been doing that. They don't want to shut down. They don't want to shut it down. They don't want to displease President Trump and shut their state down. You know, they and just like uh, this Governor DeSantos, uh, he said he made fun of New York and everything. And the, and people told him, you're going to end up like New York. And he just made fun of them like, no, we're not. That's never going to happen. And it's happening. It's really happening. So, you know, it, it's it's terrible, you guys. It's terrible. So because of all the deceit and the lies, people are losing their lives. So it, it looks, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. As long as they keep lying and deceiving the people, things are going to get worse. So that's what this is all about. That's what this card means. Sorry to say that. It doesn't, it doesn't look good. Okay, how about Texas? Let me take a look at Texas. Now, our governor... Um, he's not quite as outspoken as, you know, the governor of Florida, but he's still kind of stupid because he's not closing down Texas. When he should be. It took him a long time to tell everybody to wear a mask, a long, long time. Now he's saying you need to wear a mask, but, you know, people are already sick and already Passing it all around. Now he says wear a mask. <clears throat> I think we had like a, a thousand people got COVID yesterday, uh, tested positive. It's a lot. It's a lot. Our, our hospitals are full. They're really full. Not as full as Florida. I don't think not as full as Arizona but they're full. Tell me about Texas. Is Texas going to be able to get control on that, on the COVID outbreak? Tell me about Texas. What's going on with Texas? You guys probably want me to do a reading on your state too. huh? Should go down all the states and do them. Well, California, mm, they're, they're in bad shape too. There's some real, really bad, bad COVID outbreaks there really bad but they're trying I mean they're closed down they're trying they're trying and you know Trump said if you don't open up all the schools I'm going to hold back funding they can't he can't do it he can't do it it's not going to be able to do that Texas yeah again So again, we see uh, the first card. So he opened up Texas just too, he's just too, too much enthusiasm and everybody wanted it to be opened really. And, you know, he was getting pressure and all from different, all different areas. You know, bars wanted to open, Trump wanted him to open, restaurants wanted to open, things like that. 
And so that's what happened. We, we opened too soon, too soon. Next card. Page of Pentacles. So we're about to get some good news, you guys. Uh, this could be that, you know, they're shutting things down. I know for a lot of people, will, they would say that's not good news. But as far as the health, we're just looking at the health and COVID. That would be the best thing if they shut down uh, Texas. So we're going to get some good news. Um, I feel like this could possibly be, uh, this is Pentacles. So, you know, that uh, we've had... Um, what is it? Uh, pandemic employment. And it's going to run out in July 25th. I feel like this is a good indication. We'll get some good news on that. And there will be some good news about, you know, us shutting down so that we can get some control on the situation. And that's what's going on now. I feel like that's going on now. So that would be really, really good if, you know, they'll continue paying those uh, that pandemic unemployment. So hopefully that will keep going on and we're going to be hearing about it soon, I'm sure. All right. So the last card is it's basically this is the two of swords. So it's it's basically free will, you know, if things are going to get better, it has all to do with free will and what we decide to do, okay? If you decide to wear your mask and take care of yourself. Take, it, it's basically taking care of others. So it depends on how we act. So it's kind of, it's kind of an open ended here. And, you know, I can tell you guys, Texas people are very stubborn. They're like, you're going to make me do what I don't want to do. So if everybody will, you know, look at the situation clearly and see that the best way to protect yourself is to protect others. And that's what the mask does. So that's what I see here going on. We have to get to that point where we say, okay, uh, we want to, you know, survive this. So when we get to that point and make a decision to be healthy and live our, you know, live a life, healthy life, then we'll be able to do that. But I think um, not everybody's on board. Basically, so that, that doesn't look really good for the outcome. We know when we see this card, that means people are, you know, they're not sure. They're like, do our, remember I told you when I was in Walmart, some man walked up to me and told me, you don't need to be wearing that mask. Somebody told me that. I'm like, who are you? Why are you talking to me? So that, that's kind of what's going on here. They're in denial. You know, they're not at the point where they're ready to say, make that commitment and say, okay, I'm going to wear my mask. I'm going to do what I'm told. I'm going to stay home. I'm going to quit, you know, going out with my friends and things like that. So that's still going on. Like I said, so that's a lot of free will going on until we get some control on uh, the way people are behaving. We're going to see more of the same. So that, that doesn't look like a good outcome. I don't like that. But hopefully people will come to a point where they'll say, you know, and that's why we need leadership, because people really aren't sure. And they're, everybody has a different way of thinking and they want they make up their mind this way, that way. And they need somebody in leadership that says, this is what you got to do. You, you don't like doing it too bad. You got to do it. You know, we need some authority figure. So that's what's hopefully, you know, that will happen soon. We'll hear some good news and. Abbott will step up and be the authority figure he should be. Okay. What else, guys? What else is going on? There's so much going on in the world. Yeah, and uh, I remember when I did my last video, I forgot to mention um, that uh, Elisa Marie's son committed suicide. God bless him. I was so, so, so sad about that. That was so sad. I was so sorry to hear that. So I just wanted to um, send my love and condolences to their family. So hard to deal with those things. Okay, you guys, I think that's all for me for today. I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe and healthy, wearing your mask, stay home, try to not socialize. No, it's hard to do. And it's been a long, long time and it's going to be longer. I've been thinking about Christmas time. You know, if we're still going to be doing this at Christmas time. What are we going to do? Nobody's going to be able to get together for Christmas. 
And if we do all get together for Christmas, does that mean we're all going to be sick in two weeks? It's crummy. It is crummy. I know they say they have a vaccine coming out um, pretty soon, but, you know, I've heard all different things about it. So it's kind of scary. But I did see that there's a good vaccine coming out, and the I think it's in January. It's after the New Year's, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look forward to that one because I don't know about this one that's coming out really fast and early. I don't know about it. it kind of worries me a little bit. I don't know if it'll be you know the right vaccine. So anyway, I guess some kind of vaccine's better than no kind of vaccine, but. I want to take the good one. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I want to take the good one, the right one. Okay, guys, uh, y'all take care. Love you so much. Thank you for all the comments. I've been doing readings every day. If you'd like to get a reading with me, just look down below and send me an email. I can usually turn them around within 24 hours. And you can do a Celtic cross or you could you can do a love reading. You don't have to have a partner. You can do a love reading like when will you find love? Um you can do a three question reading and they all take about the same amount of time. They I all they all are about the same amount of cards. So they take the same amount of time. They take between 20 to 25 minutes. So if you're interested in that, let me know. OK. All right, guys. Love you so much. Y'all take care. Do something kind for somebody. It'll always come back to you. Bye for now.